Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Sam Carlton. I'm the software developer of Photoparada Software, the ultimate event photography presentation system. This is the third of three videos on how the Photoparada slideshow works. The first one I covered the basic concept of a customer driven slideshow. The second video I talked about how you can control which customers favorites show up in a slideshow and uh, which customers don't. In this slideshow I'm going to show you how to use those features along with a couple other features to create a custom driven uh, slideshow. The, this would be a slideshow where you pick all the images and as customer add things to favorites they don't show up uh, in the slideshow. So you've got complete control over the uh, uh, what's in the slideshow. So let's begin. Here we find ourselves back at the sales center. We click on uh, manage favorites to bring up the uh, favorite screen. Same configuration we had in the last video where we only have two customers. One thing that uh, I want to bring your attention to is right here. Automatically put new carts in slideshow. This by default is checked which means that as customers add things to the favorites uh, they show up in the slideshow. So if we turn this off and click close then Photoproto will no longer add new carts to the slideshow. So what that means is when we go off and create a third cart here, it won't be checked. Let's demonstrate that. Here we go. We've got some baseball pictures. Uh, let's add some to the favorites. We'll add three of them. Click here. Notice we need to log in. This time I'll start with uh, twos. And I'll add three to it log back out and let's go check to see the fact that it's not checked. Okay, here we are. Let's go back into the manage favorites and you'll see that that phone number I just added, 222, is not checked. So again, what's happening here is that only this original customer is, uh, their slides are showing up in the slideshow. So how do we use this to make a custom slideshow? Well, you simply log in at the beginning of your event and go select the images that you want the slideshow in the order that you want them. Then you come in here, make sure that it's checked right over here, and then make, down, make sure down here where it says automatically put new carts in slideshow is not checked. And now you've got a custom slideshow. Well, there's another really cool little trick. What happens if you don't want those images visible on the viewing station except for when the slideshow is actually running? So you basically want uh, the images to only be visible during the slideshow. That allows, so let's go off and let, let's imagine that those images are inside a slideshow demo, which is actually where they are. Uh, what we would do is we notice right here it says image gallery active. If we click on that, you'll notice how it's now in italics. What we've just done is we've told Photoparada to not show this image gallery on the uh, on the KVS. And let, let's go in, I'll go create another, I'll just call this uh, test gallery. So we've got something to show up there. So here we are, you notice when I click on 2PM games we only see test gallery. So, by going off and selecting, by toggling this image gallery active on or off, we can control whether or not the image gallery folder is viewable within the KVS. So in this situation, uh, you could go off and create a slideshow image gallery somewhere place all the images you want the slideshow into there, keep this active, log in with your special phone number, tag the images in the order that you want, come back to here and turn that off. At that point in time we've got a custom slideshow showing the images in the exact order that you want them to be and the customers can't see the images otherwise. I've shared this with people over the years and what I found interesting is actually quite a few customers of mine actually want this image gallery to be visible because that allows 
their customers to browse the images in the slideshow at their own pace. So this is a feature that some people like to use, um, other people don't, but it's, it's a great uh, feature, great option to be able to control whether or not an uh, image guy is active. We actually also have this um, possible at high, on categories as well. We'll notice here that on Tuesday, we also have the option. So we, there are other ways to use this, this category or image gallery active concept. You can go off and create a um, whole hierarchy that's there during the event, but while it doesn't have images, you could actually turn all of them off so that on the viewing station, people, let's say that it's still, it's Saturday, and we only want to show Friday and Saturday stuff, we can actually hide these uh, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday until we have images there. And then we j can simply come back, turn them back on, and we're good to go. So that's the uh, end of this tutorial. Um, if you'd like to, more information, please check us out at www.miltonstreet.com or email me at carlton at miltonstreet.com. Thanks for taking the time to view our video. Come back and see more in the near future. Thank you. Bye-bye.